Hi, and welcome to another edition of uh, Jay in Costa Rica on a moto. Today I'm going to give you the complete guide to using your cell phone in Costa Rica. So if you're going to come to Costa Rica and you want to use your cell phone, there are a few options. You know, some cell phone companies like T-Mobile offer you and like unlimited texting. You'd have to go and look at their plans to just make sure. But if you have, you know, unlimited data with whatever cell phone company you have and you're just coming to visit, or you can afford having a US phone because once you change over to a Costa Rica chip, if you move here, it's hard to call the United States without getting an international phone call. And I'll get to that in a little bit. So getting back to like when you're here, if you are to use your own cell phone that you already have in the United States, a lot of people use WhatsApp. It's an app, uh, it's owned by Facebook and you can pretty much, you know, text, talk on the phone and, you know, do the whole cam to cam kind of like conversation with people. And so th that's one of the big options here in Costa Rica. So when it comes to using like SIM cards in Costa Rica, you got about three different big company choices. One is Colby, as you see behind me. Another one is Claro, and another one is Movie Star. And you can get either a prepaid or monthly chip from any of these companies. But if you're just visiting, the easiest thing right in the beginning is to just get a prepaid chip. If you're gonna come down to Costa Rica and you want to use a chip here in Costa Rica in your phone, meaning like a chip from Movie Star, Claro, or uh, Colby, then you need to have your phone unlocked. And you know, if you're leasing your phone through a cell phone company, you may have to contact them to find out if it's unlocked or not before you come here. If you're going to come down here to move, to live, you definitely want to make sure you have your cell phone unlocked from your cell phone company. And honestly, buy a second cell phone. Have it as a backup because if it breaks, you know, gets water damage, if anything happens, that cell phone gets lost, stolen, you know, replacing it can, can be a really big problem. So definitely bring a second cell phone. And buying a cell phone here in Costa Rica isn't really a good idea. The products you get that are of the same brand name, like let's say LG or Samsung, they are like, if you want to. If you want to like consider they're like seconds compared to like the level of quality of device even though you're buying a new device so if you are going to buy a device to bring down here because you're considering buying one here i would do that i would buy like a device in the states and make sure it's unlocked that's one of the big things about having a device down here is you want it to be unlocked and then you can stick any sim card into it and now for anybody who you know, collect social security. Uh, every time you go to the social security office, I know at least in California, last time I went, they always have these people standing outside or sitting outside with a tent and they're giving away free phones. Get one of them. If you collect social security, go to one of those tents, get one of the cell phones. It's free. You can, they're unlocked and you can stick the Costa Rica chip in and it's a good backup phone. Uh, I know I did that. I even told them I was doing that and they gave me the phone. They were happy to do it because they get paid every time they give one of those phones away. If you do decide to get a chip here in Costa Rica and get rid of your chip in the United States, you will no longer have a United States phone number. And so if you try to call friends and family in the United States or they try and call you, it then becomes an international call. And that becomes very expensive. The best option I found is Magic Jack. And I would get it while you're still in the United States before coming here because you want to activate it one time on a computer in the United States. When you buy the device from Magic Jack, it's a subscription for one year and it's only $50. So for $50 for the whole year, you get a United States phone, phone number and you can choose any state uh, that you want it to be in so nobody's calling long distance check out one of these videos coming up on the screen right here and I hope this helped you with the cell phone dilemma here in Costa Rica if you have any questions or some comments about the video please leave them below don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll catch you all next time